there are five things that I changed. I've also observed these in the ultra wealthy and consistently across the board, the rich think much differently than the poor. Number one, saving money doesn't work. If one saved $500 per month for 20 years, one would have $120,000 in the bank. If one invested $500 into something simple like the S&P 500, which is appreciated on average at 10% per year with dividends reinvested, one would have over $343,000. That's almost three times as much, and if you can get invested even more per month, it only compounds even more. Ask any wealthy person in your life, I'm sure that they got to where they got to by investing, or at least compounding their money or making their money work for them, not putting it into a savings account alone. Number two, I know everything. The wealthiest people I know are some of the most humble and curious as well. They know that they don't know everything, which is why they constantly read and seek out information to increase their knowledge and thus increases their skills. The second that you close your mind totally, you lose. Warren Buffett reportedly reads 500 pages per day and has been doing that for most of his life. Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. So what are some things that in the future you should probably have a good handle on by learning about today? For me, that's gonna be the world of AI and artificial intelligence. Those who harness this knowledge and skill will be the ones who benefit most. So I'm excited to get my followers here on this channel a free pass to this workshop from the sponsor of this video, Growth School. For the first 1,000 signups for my channel, you can learn the power of ChatGPT and 15 plus other AI tools completely free in this workshop. No matter what field you're in, AI is taking over and you need to level up. This workshop can help you make big dollars, grow your business, and can even get a salary hike in your job and a lot more related to finance, data analysis, prediction, and even job hunting too. Many top analysts believe generative AI will become a $1.3 trillion market by 2032, so getting ahead of the game now is so important. This is not just for tech people, but for people working in non-tech too. Whether you're in a business, a working professional, an entrepreneur, or a freelancer, this will surely help you. And there's no strings attached, this thing is totally free, so I recommend you just sign up, check it out, and see what it's all about. Click on the link down in my description and register now. Number three, the poor mindset would be to work for a wage and then use that wage to buy things. Rich mindset would be to work for a wage, then use that wage to buy assets that then buy things. Robert Kiyosaki describes this well in Rich Dad, Poor Dad, but the main idea is this. Say you have $50,000, you can either take that $50,000 and buy this nice new car, or you could take the $50,000, put a down payment on a house, then you can rent out that house for a profit of $1,000 per month. Then with that profit of $1,000, you can then pay off the car by paying off the car on payments for $1,000 per month. So now in essence, with that original $50,000, now you have a house and a car. And then once the car's paid off, I still have this house that's spitting out a profit every single month, and now you can have that indefinitely. Buying assets is much better than buying things. So start stacking those assets, y'all. Number four, the dreaded taxes. I hear many people that don't invest in dividend stocks or ETFs because of the taxes and don't wanna to have to pay taxes every time that you earn a dividend which does make sense, but let's put it into perspective. I also hear people say they don't wanna to make too much money on a sales commission or just money from their business because it puts them in a new tax bracket. Now taxes are a very important topic and getting more familiar with tax law and the tax code is a very smart move that I recommend for any of you, especially those of you who own their own business. But at the very least, just understanding exactly what is taxed and how much will help you. The people I've been having meetings with just think of this overarching idea of taxes as the enemy. And when we break it down, it should not be the only reason why you don't make an educated investment. For example, many people say that they wanna live off of passive income and they wanna do so before retirement age, before they can touch any money from a Roth IRA or 401k or anything like that, so before 59 and a half. The only way you're gonna be able to do that with dividends is to be invested within a brokerage account which is taxed. 
If you know that you need about $50,000 per year and you want to get that in passive income and right now you're 20 years old, you can definitely get there by 45 by investing in something like SCHD with a 4% dividend. Let's say a 20 year old starts with $20,000 in and invests $1,000 per month for 25 years until he's 45. At that point, he'll have over $1.25 million invested and make over $50,000 per year in passive income forever if the fund's stats stay at what they are. And this is with taxes included. See here, we put the long-term capital gains tax rate, which is 15%, which is what 95% of people will pay for that. You can see the breakdown more fully here if we look at this first line. The annual dividend was $800. If we look at the after drip value, it shows that the tax was taken out because it isn't 20,800 at this point, but 15% of 800 is 120. So $800 minus $120 is $680. So that's why we see the value is $20,680. So all those numbers were with taxes taken out and those are still very favorable. You can absolutely get rich while still paying taxes. At the end of the day, if you're afraid to make more money because it's gonna incur a tax, you're definitely gonna be leaving money on the table. Even if the tax is high at like 30%, if you're to make something like $1,000 extra, after taxes, that's $700 of pure profit in your pocket. That's definitely worth it. Number five, and this is one of the biggest ones, and it very much goes with that second one about educating yourself. But there's always gonna be the road less traveled, and for this point, there's two main things that you need to get. They both have to do with herd mentality. First, most people will make more money eventually, and then when they make more money, they're going to spend more money. Because why not? You've been working hard, now you finally get to enjoy the fruits of your labor, so might as well go buy all that extra stuff. The road less traveled here and what the truly wealthy actually do is that they don't let their lifestyle increase just because their income increases. Yes, you can have nice things, but you gotta have a little bit of discipline and try to keep that spending as low as possible. You wanna delay some gratification and invest and save some of that extra money. The rich mindset here is to not fall victim of lifestyle creep. Do not spend more just because you make more. You'll never become wealthy like that. And the second thing that rich people do that the poor do not hear is that the rich have done their homework and have educated themselves on the investments that they chose. So when the stock market inevitably drops or the economy drops for a little while, they do not panic sell with the rest of the people. They don't give in to the hype or the fear-inducing headlines. They stay the course, and even better, they buy the dip when everyone else is scared. Watch this video on exactly when to invest, or watch this one on the number one growth ETF that I've ever found, and if I had to invest in just one growth ETF, this would be the one.